Niagara Region Waste Management is proud to announce that they are adding two new technologies to their recycling center right here in Niagara Falls. Niagara Region is the first municipality to install a polystyrene foam densifier as well as a fiber optical sorting system to its recycling facility. The uh, polystyrene densifier, that, that is a unique piece of equipment and what that does, that takes the styrofoam from the blue and gray box and uh, it gets sorted off the line and then it goes down into a storage bunker and from there it goes into a crusher which breaks it into small pieces and then it goes into a uh, compactor. Uh, it's an auger that compresses the styrofoam and it makes it into 100 pound blocks. The big benefit of putting the machine here in Niagara was we used to mix the styrofoam in with our mixed plastics, but the company we were shipping to um, could not handle the styrofoam in the mixed plastics, plus it was devaluing the mixed plastics. And mixed plastics includes like shampoo bottles and uh, yogurt containers and ice cream pails and those type of materials. But by getting the styrofoam out from those mixed plastics, we're able to increase the market value of our mixed plastics. And that is a major benefit of, of the styrofoam recycling system. The fiber optical sorting system, that's actually uh, the first in Ontario um, and possibly maybe even the first in Canada, as far as I'm aware. And that system takes materials from the gray box. So the material comes up the line and the sorters rip open the bags and then the product flows over a cardboard separator, which takes a large piece of a cardboard and separates it from the smaller cracker boxes and cereal boxes and all your newspaper, magazines and catalogs. Optical sorting is, uh, is very large in uh, throughout North America. In fact, it's worldwide. Um, I think this facility here will now be a template for the company who sold it to us. And they're, we're already getting inquiries from uh, Palm Beach, Florida last week. I received calls about this technology. They're looking at putting in their facility. They have a very similar mix to what we have here in Niagara. So I think it's going to get a lot of um, in interest and it's going to help improve the efficiency of recycling separation. Polystyrene is hazardous for our landfills as it is not biodegradable. With the addition of this $236,000 polystyrene densifier, Niagara Recycling will be able to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from polystyrene transportation, as well as expand efficient plastic recycling. Really what we're talking about here is further diversion of recyclable material and diverting it away from landfill, which is really important for our environment, important for us. Not only that, but we can generate a profit from the materials that we sell from this facility. It's a very lucrative deal. It's always great to see recycling in action, and so uh, to see that process where all the white and some colored uh, polystyrene chrome gets broken up into little bits and then compressed into those very heavy blocks, you can see that it would be much more efficient to transport a truck of that versus the lighter material that it started out as. And then of course that fiber, optical fiber sorting was amazing. I think someone said 600 feet of material moving um, you know, per minute and uh, how it kicks out the valuable cardboard. I always think it's great to see recycling in action and uh, the regional chair was saying that they take a lot of school groups through this facility, which I think is awesome, educating our youngsters who can go home and tell their you know, parents and their siblings, we've got to do more, we've got to recycle as much as possible. Canada generates more municipal waste per capita annually than any of its peer countries. Canada earns a D grade and ranks in last place. With Niagara launching its fiber optical sorting system and polystyrene foam densifier, we could further divert waste from landfills and produce quality products out of our region's recycled materials. As the drive to uh, a cleaner and cleaner environment still continues, we can expect that other municipalities will want to do the same as what we're doing, and if not, perhaps we could take the, their uh, diversionable waste into Niagara and recycle it for them as well. We can help them as well. There are many ways that you can help the environment. For more information, go to niagararegion.ca. Reporting for The Source, I'm Leah Schumann.